What is up guys and welcome to another video all to do with Unity Level Play. Now this is another full installation video for Unity Level Play where I'm going to take you from your current project and show you how to integrate the banner, the interstitial, the interstitial and also the rewarded ads. Now this is for both Android and iOS where my last one was just for Android. This is going to be a much more in-depth detail detailed tutorial to help you integrate alongside a slightly different approach so if any errors if any people get certain errors of different uh editors then we can add those to this tutorial as we go on and find different errors that other people come across so i'm hoping that this becomes a perfect really good unity level play integration tool which you can follow if you get one of the errors then there'll be a solution in place. You can go straight back and carry on the next episode. So, I'm let me get my whiteboard and just to give a very brief explanation as to the process of this entire series that I uh, that I've created. So to go right now, right then. So this is the structure in which the episodes or the parts are going to happen. So we've got episode one, which is the introduction and setting up the dash for Unity and Iron Source. That's this video now. So as we go over the introduction, we will be moving on and getting the dashboard and uh, the dashboard all linked up and ready to go for to get started into the project. Now, moving on to episode two, we're going to be installing Iron Source to the project and testing the demo script. And this is where my explanation as to creating this into a modular system comes into play. So occasionally some people may get error during a demo script. And this is where I want to be able to address those errors in the future. Um, I kind of create it as ongoing support for this series. So this would be episode 2.1, which would be where, we're, where we would um, troubleshoot the Win32 exception. Or if someone was coming along and they were, they're getting a build error in that in that uh, Unity editor, then we can create a, another video, let's say three bumpers down the line, and add that in as 2.2. Now this is, in my opinion, the best way to create a modular and up-to-date uh, series for Unity level play integration. And I want this to become the most ultimate uh, guide for installing that. So moving on to the episode three, we'll be initializing the script within the project. So initializing our own script within the project, plus the additional steps for Android and iOS to get to API level 31, and then also the, the additional steps for iOS. Very important to note now, if you are looking to develop within the iOS field, you do need an OSX platform to develop on all, because you do need access to Xcode, and as long as I uh, come by the resource, I believe. Um, once we've done that, we'll be moving on to the three main ones, which is Banner, Interstitial, and Rewarded Ads. We're going to take through for the entire implementation of that, alongside the testing as well. And then at number seven, we're going to be testing very specific ads. So we want to test to make sure that our Unity is integrated properly, our uh, uh, iron source is integrated properly, and if you were to integrate anything else, such as add colony or add mob, you'd want to be able to test those directly just then to be able to make sure the integration works, which is a lot easier to do uh, than it sounds. So that is the structure in which it's going to work. If you are going through this entire video series, you do get an error at any of these points at all, please do get in contact. I'll be going through my Discord in just a second as I've now created a community Discord for the channel. Uh, and yeah, so we'll, we'll jump into the Discord channel now. Let me know how it works and whether or not you guys think this is a good structure or not. Let me know in the comments, along with if you do end up with any issues, let me know. Fantastic. So now I'm going to move on to my community Discord channel. Now, I recently put my, uh, my own personal Discord in my previous videos. And I just want to make a very big apology to everybody who I haven't been able to reach out to and connect with and talk to. I have decided to create a community Discord channel so we can help each other and hopefully even create a community of different developers where we can share, help and inspire each other. I do also want to add a 
community challenge aspect to it where between us we create a cool little kind of like game jam or different challenges to create more content for the channel uh i would also um, a couple of you as well uh, i've actually tested your games uh suggested improvements and you guys seem seem to like that uh those of you who i have so i was wondering whether i uh, potentially do like a game test and then suggest either improvements or what i liked or even ways to implement the ads uh, keep on the subject of the video and then also um support for the tutorials uh, so if you are getting errors, then obviously there's going to be the support in there as well. Alongside also the ability to request tutorials. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be called the Game Dev Collective. The link is in the description with an open invite. Uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you there. Uh, make sure you shout out hi. So now that is the introduction complete. We're going to be moving on into our Unity workspace in a minute. Uh, but first, we're going to be setting up the dashboard between Iron Source and Unity. The majority of it is going to be done in Windows. We are going to be flipping over to iOS uh, to show you guys the additional steps and also to show you the, the integration into the code as how to switch between uh, the Android and iOS uh, quite easily. So, without further ado, let's head on over to Iron Source. So, this is Iron Source just here. Uh, we're going to want to sign in. If you haven't already signed up, make sure you sign up. Make sure you go through the entire uh, process. So when, so when you do initially sign up, uh, it will then you will, you'll get email requesting you guess requesting some additional information about uh, basically about you and, and what you're about. Um, it takes two minutes to fill in, so make sure you go through all of it. The initial sign up, then also the additional information there. Um, as I believe in, I was speaking to a few people kind of testing the theory. And it seems to be if you don't go through the entire process, your test ads don't always run properly. So it'll be, it's easy to do and it's easy to do at the start of it as well. Secondly as well, we are going to link up the uh, Unity now. Uh, mainly because connecting the... Mediation from Unity to Iron Source. Sometimes that connection can take a little bit of time. Uh, so then, when you actually go to start testing your ads, it doesn't always work the first time because we're still waiting for Unity and Iron Source to finish talking to each other to get to get it sorted and ready to go. I know there is a bit of a time delay. I spoke to one of the Unity devs about it. So let's get started. So once you've signed up, you will be greeted with this new app screen just here. Now, if your app is live. Add in the App Store URL. If it's not like in our case, uh, then we can add it as a test name. So I'm going to call this uh, Unity Neville Play. And this one is going to be the Android one. So we're going to go Android. And we're going to click down onto Android. Now, the code for regulations, you need to make sure this is correct because this is a law and it's basically if you're if your app is appealing to children under the age of 13, you need to make sure that you select the right option. If it's not, then just make sure a general audience that is not directed to children, but make, but make sure you do select, select the correct one for your game or app. Now, we also need what's called the US state privacy laws. So also just make sure you select the correct one for that one. And then just click this button at the bottom that says add app. It's then going to ask us which ad units we want to integrate. Now, in this in this series, currently, we're going to go through rewarded interstitial and banner. Now, I am going to do the offer reward one as soon as I get access to it. Uh, I still don't have access to it, so I can't show you guys the integration for that. So there we go, and we're just going to click continue in there. Takes about a minute, and then we get through to our dashboard again where we will be able to create the ios equivalent now so here is our dashboard at the bottom here you will see all the information for you the ones which are blue are the ones which you've got activated so now if i go into new app here uh same again this one is going to be ios so it is unity level play ios and this time we can just duplicate the application fantastic so now we are in the ad units if we go to sdk networks 
which is on the left just here down under setup sdk networks you will see the fact we currently have no networks attached now you will not have unity ads here that will not be on there so if you go out to manage networks unity ads i believe is around here somewhere but it will not be blue that's because you need to add it into your project so so now we need to link up our unity project so if i go into my unity project here uh, there's a new version of the incident that's what we do. So this is the example project in which I'm doing. So all this is is just a quite simply put a, a simulation of buttons so we can load, destroy the banner, we can load the full size ads and also rewarded. But this this simply represents your app at whatever stage you're at. This could be the start, the middle, or the end. So what we're going to do is if we get on over to edit, click on project settings, and then services on the left here. I'm not sure why this is so big. The apps of services, select your organization, and then click create project ID. Obviously you may already have an existing project ID, so use an existing one, but in our case we're going to create the project ID. So we're going to click that. Once it's done, Again, code for regulations down at the bottom here. We're going to take no just for the, um, seeing as our app is not going to be a direct, direct to a people age 13 and under. Make sure that's saved. Now, if we click X on there, head back to our uh, Unity dashboard. Click refresh. And it's called my project. So, so this is, so once you've selected your project, you go down into monetization on the left here. It will then give you a screen to get started. There we go. So we click get started. It's then going to ask us whether we will, whether we plan to use mediation or whether we just plan to use Unity ads. We plan to use mediation, and we're using Unity level play. So we then press next here. Uh. No, I want to want to a fresh start. My app is not yet live on the App Store. Obviously, if it is, enter any details there. Uh, but for now, we should go into Add Project. So click here to show API key and leave this screen up. If you do uh, get rid of this screen, I'll show you how to, how to still find the details now. But leave this screen up because it's the easiest way to input the details over into iron source so we head back over to iron source now go, up, go down to sdk networks you'll see the fact we've got no network set up here uh, and that's because we need to add the networks in now as you see you can have up to 24 um networks alongside also being able to add your own custom adapters and this is why you see um merged in with iron source because it gave you so much better than I believe it was a seven that Unity uh, adds uh, with mediation you were able to do. Uh, so click on your Unity ads to add it in. And it will ask you for your API key and your organization core ID. So the API key is this one just here. And the organization core ID is this one just here. So we click finish on that. Uh, we'll dismiss this now there you go it in your api keys here and your organization core id now if you do need these of help finding them then it's got very detailed information here as to find them uh if you were to get rid of that screen so now we you click save on that you'll see on the left here we've got our android and our ios builds now, they still do not have any networks attached, but you will now have the Unity Ads section just here. So, what we're going to want to do is, I'm going to select Android first. We're going to click the Setup button. And then it's going to ask us for a game ID. And then we've got this box here. We've rewarded our rewarded video, interstitial, and the banner. Now, to get these, it's just it's very easy. Go back over to your projects. Click on placements, and these are placements here, and you've also got your game IDs up here. So we copy that one to clipboard, 
and go into game ID at the top here. We then want to go in and add our placements into the placement ID. So we are doing Android and we're going to start for the rewarded ones. So rewarded Android, we're just going to copy that. Placement ID, the interstitial. Add that one in there alongside the banner. Obviously, if you're not running uh, like uh, interstitials or you're only running banners, for example, you only need to add in the banner placement ID. So we're going to click save on that. They are all now blue, and you've also got reporting API verify. If that comes up with an error of um, not working, then you know the fact that it's just an issue between your uh, organization core ID and your API key. So you also notice that this no longer has no networks attached to it. So this, for all intents and purposes, should work. Um, and we're going to do exactly the same for iOS again. So going to get set up down here. We're going to add in our game ID to the iOS. And then we're just going to fill in the iOS fields. Happy days. There we go then. So that is now the SDK network set up. If we're going to add units of placements and just make sure we are in test mode for all of them. There we go. Then. So we go back over to SDK Networks. These should all be yellow now. So yellow represents test mode. So next up, we'll just have a quick look at mediation. Now we should have in the waterfall, USC ads here and iron source up there. Perfect. Uh, the best place for Unity ads um, when it comes to CPM rates is tier two. Uh, but we'll be going through this a lot more detail in a future video. Fantastic. So that is the dashboard all set up and linked between Iron Source and Level Play. I am going to be creating some more videos going on to create integrating different, uh, different ad units over, over time. So if there is a particular one that you want integrated, please feel free to shout out. Now, this is the end of episode one or part one, also known as. Uh, and this was the integration of the dashboards. So making sure the fact they're working, which you can tell by the reported uh, API verified and all of those being blue. So in the next one, we're going to be actually integrating in Unity level play and testing it in the test field. Uh, using the Iron Source demo scene before we create our own scene. So, I'll see you in the next one.